Um, it's a beauty box. A beauty box, huh? John, my battery's gonna die. You interrupted me. I'm almost done. Hi, beauties. It's Mika. Welcome back to my channel. So... February is over and we are officially in March. Today is March 1st, which is the best month of the year because it is my birthday month. Uh, I just, I just love the month of March. So anyways, guys, today I have my February favorites. Um, I don't have any really super new favorites. Um, as you guys know, I have been on a low buy and I have been extremely successful. I am so proud of myself. Um, I give myself $200 a month to spend and this month I only spent about, uh, the month of February, I only spent about $120. So I... I'm doing well considering I used to spend like $400 a month on makeup so give myself a pat on the back and let me just stop and let's get into my February favorites. Alright you guys, first we are going to start with foundation. I have a new high-end and drugstore foundation love. Um, I did a review on both of these, but the high-end is the new NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I did a full review on this and uh, it is so absolutely stunning. I am oily. Um, I have oily combo skin. I absolutely do recommend it for oily combo skin as well as dry skin depending on how dry your skin is. I've heard from some dry skin people it doesn't necessarily work for them but I love the coverage. I love how lightweight it is. Um, I love that it has a pump. I love the color match. I just... I love this foundation so I will leave a link to my review so you can check that out and then my second foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation I love wearing this stuff to work it is so beautiful on the skin again I'd have a full review and demo on this I will leave it down below but it is very long wearing when you have it when you pair it with the right primer um, it gives really good coverage nice matte finish really 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 good for the drugstore and I'm not using the Revlon anymore so this is my new girlfriend so yeah um, the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. I'll move on to powder. It is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. So I have been using this for years and years and years and for some reason for about six, eight months I stopped using it um, and I picked up a new one and I've been using it a lot with my NARS and my L'Oreal foundation and I just love it so much. It sets my makeup so beautifully. It gives me such a nice smooth finish I stay really matte and it's very night nice. it's very lightweight natural looking powder it doesn't cake up I, and I love using this in combination with this Tarte and bamboo brush that I got a while back from QVC but I love these two together it just picks up the right amount of product just press the powder in and these two perfection. Continuing on with face products, it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 6.0. I picked this up at IMATS. I heard this is a hot creasy mask concealer and it is if you use it underneath your eyes, but I love it to carve out my brows and because it's so thick, it has like a um, foundation consistency, but it doesn't feel heavy. I, I love using this to spot conceal. As you guys know, I have acne scars, so this just covers everything up and it looks so flawless. Like, um, also, I have a highlighter that I just discovered in my collection. I've had this for a really long time. I know I picked it up from the CCO. It is from MAC and is the Mineralized Blush and Cheek and Cheerful. It's very shimmery and highlighty, so I don't use it as a blush, but it is a absolutely beautiful shimmer highlight. If you can see it right there, I have it on my face today. I'm not sure if you can see it. 
it is such a gorgeous gorgeous highlight it gives you that very beautiful natural glow within and I was just going through my collection and I saw this and I said let me try this as a highlight and I am so glad I did and I have been loving it for the month of February also continuing on with face products it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, refill contour shades in the shade Karab so being a woman of color and being kind of a darker woman of color it's very hard to find shades to contour with but this is a very nice cool toned brown uh, that I can use to contour and it's so soft so creamy so buttery it blends beautifully if you want to see me use this in like a tutorial or like a full face demo contour routine or whatever let me know down below all right moving on to blush it is a mac blush in the shade raisin it's right here it's this very it's like a brown reddish brick shade i think this is beautiful beautiful for women of color but when you put this on the cheeks it is a very nice natural kind of daytime beautiful blush that we can rock and I've had this for a while and I just rediscovered it and I have been loving this so Raisin by MAC all right moving on to lips NYX has just had my heart for the month of February but there was two things that kind of stood out and it is the new NYX high voltage lipstick I just picked this up in a haul that I showed you guys and this is in the shade wine and dine and I love my berry um, purpley shade so that's that right there I have been obsessed with this this month the formula of these are very creamy very opaque very pigmented I love them on the lips and then the gloss that I have been loving and I've been pairing these two together um, the intense butter gloss in the shade toasted marshmallow and I put that right there underneath these two together you guys beautiful also what I've been loving is this Rimmel London gentle eye makeup remover it is oil free it removes waterproof mascara um, I got this in an influencer box I'm not big on makeup remover solutions but this was free so I tried it out and it seriously removes makeup and like eyelash glue and everything so easily it's so gentle it doesn't burn my eyes it's not oily it's freaking I love it I lastly is this Too Faced glitter glue shadow insurance I don't think I've talked about this before did I talk about this last month I might have I don't remember but this okay so I put glitter on my eyes without this and there was glitter all over my face I completely regretted it it was horrid I was sitting there for hours trying to get tape and like take the glitter off this seriously you apply this to your lid as like your um pro eyeshadow primer and the glitter just sticks perfectly on you can use this I've seen people use it as just their um, primer without even any glitter but I only use this when I wear glitter love it if you wear glitter you need this in your life so you guys that is it for my February favorites and everything that I have been loving as usual make sure you subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload videos also follow me on my social media because I'm very active with you guys there and until next time I'll see you in my next video bye guys